Welcome to Rick's Corner, where we talk wrestling. And welcome to Rick's Corner. Today I felt like broadcasting from a different location since we do things at various places. And I was just kind of in the mood for a Palm Beach sunset. It just seemed to be soothing, relaxing, and it allowed me to speak uh, in a more relaxed tone on what I want to talk about. Now, a lot of you are emailing me now about, about looking at your tapes and your wrestling sequences and have me critique them and send them back, and I'm really happy to do that. I've seen some real good stuff. And I've given you my advice on doing singles matches, and I've given you my advice on tag team matches. I've told you how to sell. I've told you how to use your spots, how to work the crowd, and how to put something in your match that's exciting. Now, remember, when you get to the point of where you want to go WWE or TNA or any of these things, you have to realize what people are paying for. They're paying for entertainment. They're not just paying to see you jump in the air and do spots and land and take bumps. They want to see character and they want to see charisma and they want to see comedy as well as your violent side. Of course, wrestling as the heel is the violent side, but it can also be done in a com comical way. I've kind of went back in time and I picked up some tapes on midgets. You don't see them too often in, in, anymore in matches and it's really not politically correct to call them midgets. They're little people, but we call them midgets, midgets of wrestling. And back in the 60s and 70s and some of the shows I worked, every time they had midgets on the card, they had sellouts. It was a complete sellout. Everybody came to see them. They were fun. They were entertaining. They were a blast to watch, as well as women. Women also drew big numbers. But women back then, in my estimation, when I saw them wrestle, looked like my fifth grade, fifth grade school teacher. They didn't look like they did today. I mean, they weren't hot at all. But they were fun to watch because it was almost like you watch your mother wrestle the neighborhood and mom down the street. And it was exciting and was crazy. But the midgets, let's go back to that for a minute. I'm going to put some video up here of some of the midgets. And this happens to be a mixed tag. It happens to be one big midget, which I did a lot in, a, in Oregon when I was up there. Um, I had a 240Z, a small little car, and I would drive to matches, and I took two of the midgets with me. One would sit by my side, one I threw in the trunk. They'd bring a case of beer, and we'd drive, and every, about every 20 miles they had to stop out and pee, and I had to let them out in the bushes. It was a blast. But when we'd lock up and we'd do stuff, midgets would call all around on us, and they'd do their thing standing on our shoulders. They'd go in between our legs. They'd go on top, all over the place. They were sneaky, and they were fun, and they had a lot of humor to their matches, and their high spots were impeccable. I would think today, if you want to learn something, go on YouTube and look up the midgets wrestling, and look at some of their spots that they run, and, and how they involve the referee, and how they involve the crowd, and their comical ways of doing things, because it's kind of a lost art, and it's fun, and it makes it really exciting for people to watch. If you look up here now, you'll see, you'll see how the big guys and the little guys work together. And they got on each other's shoulders and they perform spots and they use, a, uh, uh, they use the psychology behind it. You know, if it doesn't work, they try it a different way and then the different way doesn't work and then it's laughable and people have a great time. But I would suggest for all of you people who take this business serious and really want to get somewhere, take a look at these guys and learn from them. It's almost like watching the Three Stooges. And if you want to get basic about it, wrestling really is the Three Stooges. It's slapstick comedy. And the Three Stooges would slap and they'd do crazy things and get mad at each other and pull tricks. And it's basically the same thing in wrestling. If you go back to the 50s and 60s when they did this, you could see huge audiences. And you see people sitting ringside in suits and ties and ladies with hats on. It was a high class element of people watching. It wasn't just internet marks or little kids. And they paid good money. I know back in the 60s, we ran a show here in Los Angeles. I wasn't on it, I was too young. But they went to the Coliseum. Well, they didn't have TV. They had local TV, but not WWE. And they drew 27,000 people. That's a huge house for an indie show. I mean, I've never heard of that today. Today's, you draw 20 people, you draw 100, you draw 200, average is about 60. So they must have been doing something right because they, they programmed these matches and they put the, the ingenuity and thought behind them to make it exciting for people to come out and watch. And really, basically, all they had were newspaper advertisements. Maybe they had a local channel where they did promos that was stuck way at night, 11 o'clock at night, and no one really watched it. If they did, they were diehard fans that really wanted to go out and see it. But the newspapers did write-ups, and they did afterwards the next day results and this is what got people interested so if you take a look at the old school stuff you'll learn a lot from it and like I said if you take a look at the midgets you'll learn a lot from that so bear that in mind take a look at these like I said for Rick's Corner if you want me to analyze your video matches send them to me I really prefer a ring with ropes and like we do on TV the old school match I really don't want trash cans I don't want ladders I don't want out on the grass I don't want trampolines. I want it done right. If you have to go to mats, you don't have ring ropes. Somebody did ask me that. At least show me some wrestling. Show me wrestling. Show me your character. Show me what you do. Show me what you think is good, what you think is bad. I will get back to you. I get back to everybody. So I'll be waiting to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy Rick's Corner. Watch the midgets. Learn from it. 
and keep on wrestling. Welcome to Rick's Corner. And you guys have a great day. I'm going back to the beach. Stay tuned next time for more Rick's Corner, where we'll talk wrestling.